Hello, today we are going to set up Save Post button to our social media app. Let's get started. First step, as always, is that we go to our Firebase fields. Add a new field to Post section, which will be Post Saved By. This is Document Reference. Collection is Users, and it is a list. Then, get back to Homepage. Copy this text and this toggle icon. We are going to use them as template. Add a row in here and drag the button and the text inside of it. Great. Now we can start to remove these previous actions. Then click on the toggle icon and switch these to save icons. Let's preview them that they look good. Yeah, that works. Then go to your profile page. Copy and paste this icon button. Delete this action and switch this icon to save. Then go to your blocked users page and duplicate it. Change the name to saved posts and switch the topic to saved posts. Remove this query and remove this container and this list view. Then go back to home page. Copy this list view. And paste it back in here inside the column. Then remove this conditional visibility and edit the query that we have in here. Remove this filter and add a new one. Post saved by. Array contains authenticated user user reference, and confirm. Then go to your profile page. Add navigation to this button. Navigate to saved post page. And close. Then go to your home page. Click this text. Value will be post saved by Number of items, number format, compact, and default value will be zero and close. Then edit the toggle icon. Add conditional action. Single condition. Post save by. List contains item. Authenticated user and user reference is equal to true and close and then on the true side update document post reference add field and change this to post saved by remove from set authenticated user and user reference then take a copy of this and paste it in here. And switch this to add to set, then copy this entire chain. Go to save post page and paste it in here. Then we need to fix these actions. Click on first value, post document and post saved by. List contains item, authenticated user, and user reference is equal to true. In here, choose the post reference again. And same thing in here. Then you can close this. 
Then add value to this text. Post saved by. Number of items. Compact and default value is zero. Then add the toggle value. Post saved by. List contains item. User reference and confirm. And do the same thing in here on the Save Post page. Then we can go to our Firebase rules. Go ahead and update everything in here. Then back to home. Because we have two list views on this project, you have to add the Save button to that other list view. You can skip this part if you only have one list view. And now, we can finally try out our app. Let's start by saving a post. It looks good. The counter works also. Let's check our saved post page. And it appears in here also. And we can remove it by tapping the save button. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Happy building you all.